Okay, we're back. Isn't this a dashing scene? And so scene? is King Richard. Yes, isn't this a oh. dashing scene to see us through what'll probably be our last video I like the, the guy in the foreground who's just so surprised. He's holding up his hand like, like oh, wait, stop. It almost looks like he's telling him and to stop. And the guy like, to the right is like looking at him like, wow, dude, calm down. Oh, he's so excited. It, it also has to look like, King Richard, hello. Hello, <laughs> King Richard, remember me? Hey, what's up? What's up, dog? <laughs> All right, here we go. Word came to me, Master Sheriff, that you'd captured the great outlaw, Robin Hood. But I, I heard... Fashion, that fashion. <laughs> but I heard nothing of a trial. Is this the way you've kept the law in my absence? But, but my lord, my king, he is a terrible outlaw, guilty of every sort of crime. I saw no need. My liege, hear me. I am your true and loyal servant. I did not choose to be an outlaw but was driven to it by corrupt and evil men. Silence, you thieving dog. Enough. I will hear him speak. My king, do you know nothing of the money we sent for your ransom? Not one penny did I or my men keep that we could send to win your freedom. Actually, that's not true. I think we still have ten pennies in our inventory. No, because... <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. I've not had word from my mother the queen to account for every mark. If what you say is true... My lord, you cannot take seriously the rantings of a desperate man. He will say anything to save his neck. Oh, so he's not married. The queen is his mother. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Then, then it will be decided as it should have been. In the court of justice. Dun dun dun. Dun. And Robin Hood still gets... Oh. Acu um, yes. Whoa. Still... Whoa! Robin Hood, you and those you call your men stand accused of brigandage, of stealing from the church, defying the sheriff's justice, defying the king's law, and killing the king's deer. Oh no! Oh no, no killing the deer. the deer. What about those boars deer that we rounded up? <laughs> Actually, we didn't do the boars. Do you deny these crimes? My lord. Hey, my lord. Is it a crime to defy those who abuse your trust and use your laws to their own ends? Is it a crime to seek justice where there is only injustice? I do not defy your laws, only the evil men who use their power for personal gain. I do not steal from the church, but only from greedy men who use the church to gain riches for themselves. Those are strong words. Your life depends upon what I hear before I pass judgment. Because of his holy vows, I allowed your man, the Friar Tuck, to go free, that he might gather witnesses to speak in your favor. And then he killed four people. And uh. he brought back a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted to his sworn word that he would return and share your judgment, and it, as he indeed has. But there are others here who will speak against you, and their testimony shall also be weighed. Yeah, actually, this final courtroom scene is basically wrapping up the game and how well you did. The courtroom scene will depend on what you did and how well you did through the game. So, let the witnesses speak. I'm hoping, we, I think we get the best possible ending because we did everything right, so we should get the best ending of all. Yay! By your leave, I shall speak first. I've served Robin Hood faithfully for many seasons. He is a man of honor, loyal to his king, just and fair. I pray thee, your majesty, to give little mind to this curtal friar. I am the abbot of St. Mary's, and I have been plagued by this rascal of an outlaw. I had a drinking contest with him. And he won! <laughs> he flouts the sanctity of the church, and shows no respect of any true holy man, as this poor monk of mine can attest. Tis true, my liege. He waylaid me upon Watling Street, stripped me of my robe, mocked my dignity and spanked my butt. Well, Robin didn't do that. Friar Tuck did no. that. Oh. <laughs> and that that false friar beat me with a sword and forced me to toil at chopping wood for his gang of ruffians. And poor, I liked it. A poor, a poor job he did of it too, fattened as he is with gluttony and excess of wine and ale and lazy from a life of unmonkly comfort. Okay. Friar Tuck, take a good look at yourself. Come on, Tuck. <laughs> Although, apparently he can work, so... 
He can't even go running without getting all red in the face. Oh, it's Lob. <laughs> hey, Lob. My Lord King, it was to this abbot that Prince John sent a stolen treasure so that you might languish forever in a foreign prison. It was Robin Hood who swore to do everything in his power to raise ransom for your freedom. And this he did, with every mark entrusted to the knight who brought it to the queen. Oh, I have since oh, received an accounting of exactly the amount the outlaw sent, and will weigh it in my judgment accordingly. Isn't that a little, uh, like a bribe? Almost like we bribed this king to sway the judgment in our favor? I mean, come on, he's not going to judge against the guy who sent 65,000 marks to set him free. Hmm. Sire, this man is mistaken in accusing the prince of treachery. Your brother intended only to safeguard the treasure until it could be used to free you. It is only from fear of this diligent sheriff that the outlaw sent money, undoubtedly in the desperate hope of winning a pardon for his great many sins. I have not forgotten your sins so quickly, you black-hearted prior. Twas Robin who freed me from your torture, Robin who saved me and set me free. I knew at once he was a good man, good enough that I entrusted to him the ring that commands Walter, and brought Rosalka to us. Yeah. And I kept it safe, as folk asked of me. Furthermore, I had also the ring that commands fire, which had been taken by the abbot. A scurrilous lie! Where are my rings now? I'm wearing them. Ask yonder sheriff. Twas he that took everything from me when I was captured. More lies, my lord. We found nothing of value upon him. What say you, folk? I would sooner take the word of Robin Hood over these rogues. Do not forget the treasonous letter he gave to the Queen's knight, proof that the sheriff and prior conspired with Prince John against you. I know of no such letter. It must be a forgery. It bore your seal, and what if the knight himself held prisoner in your tower? I... Ah, uh, these things can all be explained. You can be sure they will, and to my complete satisfaction. But we are here at this time to pass judgment upon Robin Hood. Your judgment will come soon enough. Oh, snap. And I will spank you, I believe then. Let the common, oh, let the folk... common folks speak. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're so excited. I am only a I poor widow. I live by the wall I spin, and with the help of my three good sons. But I can't keep my lamb from shutting up. Or, no, the inverse. I can't, <laughs> I can't get my lamb to shut up. They were wrongly accused of treason, and would all be hanged now if not for Robin Hood and his men. I owe him the lives of my sons. Her sons consorted with outlaws and deserved hanging. <sighs> my sons were all I had in this world. I bless Robin Hood for his goodness. God help the woman who seeks mercy at the hands of this sheriff or his men. Do we know this peasant woman? Yeah, she was the one that you helped at the very beginning. Oh. Uh, yeah. Robin Hood saved me from one of his scoundrels who wrongly accused me of withholding taxes and would have dragged me to the most hideous fate a woman can suffer. Mm, what's that? Working in the kitchen? Rape. Yeah, and working dry humping by bed troll. Dry oh. hump by bed troll. Yes. Oh dear. All right. Um. Oh, here we go. Who's this poacher? Oh, also from the yeah. almost the beginning of the game. Robin Hood saved me from the sheriff's men. They accused me of poaching, and well, I am a poacher because the my title, yeah. my <laughs> message window's title bar says so. But, but what am I to do when I see my wife and children starving because the sheriff taxes us to the last farthing? He treated me fairly. He gave me good money in exchange for my first set of rags. Whoa, he bought me a set of rags. Awesome. I must say that for an outlaw, he was most just and fair to me. He gave me enough money to replace the clothes he took with clothes of equal quality and to spare. Speak up, woman. Oh, yeoman. Yeoman. <laughs> Speak up, yeoman. Let your voice be heard. I still no. wear the good suit of Lincoln Green that I was given, and proudly I wear it. Twere thanks to the good outlaws of Sherwood Forest that I returned to me home with a goodly sum in me pocket, and won me a fair last wife, and... Ah, oh, he got her. And did lots of things with her after I got back. That's great. Oh, yeah. That's, that's nice. Lady Marion, 
You asked to speak last. Thank you, my lord. I have come to know Robin Hood well, <laughs> and I oh. also owe him my life. And I'm wearing a terrible hat. I hate those yeah. clothes. Pay no heed to this slut, my liege. Hey. She's a oh. witch who keeps company with brigands. Shut up! And... Silence! The Lady Marian has served my queen mother for years and is of noble blood. I'll not tolerate such accusations against her. Speak on, lady. You're about out of time. Yeah, I know. Robin is completely loyal to you. He is Bad honest, fair, and true, undeserving of the fate that has driven him to live outside the law. He seeks only peace and, peace and justice. He's devoted himself to raising ransom on your behalf, even as the, these other wicked men conspired against you. Don't listen to their lies. Robin and his men are your truest subjects. I beg you, grant him your pardon and your favor. Alright, I need to stop here. Bye, everyone. Bye.